welcome everybody to another round of World of Tanks subscriber replays. My name as always is Maxwell and the first of today's ELC AMX replays is from the user Bureaucracy. That's Bureaucracy and he's deriving obviously the ELC AMX on a standard battle on Kamaran. So going to be taking a look at the river here, going to be seeing whereabouts he thinks he can cross, but then again just decides to, what the hell, let's just go for it. Uh, I've got a quick enough tank, and to be honest, if you can find this little spot here, it's uh, you are able to get across just in time, and it puts you way ahead of the pack. As you can see there, way ahead of the Comet, uh, and the other medium tanks that spawned a lot closer to this location, but... Uh took the regular route around. I'm going to be doing his best to try and spot out who we can on the little island over there. I just want to say a quick apologies if I sound like I've got a cold. That's because I've got a cold and I feel a bit like crap at the moment. But uh, I'm going to power through and bring you guys your subscriber replays. Because uh, I think I've been slacking on the sub replays a little bit recently, bringing you a bit of a bit too much uh, World of Tanks 360 and the live stuff. So I'm going to try and get back to producing a lot more of the uh, subscriber replays. Just doing his best to try and get up over this hill here so he can get a shot on someone if they poke their head out again. And always just keeping an eye on his left hand side there, just in case. And then again, anybody who really pokes themselves over that little hill on the left hand side definitely has a suicide wish, because they're going to get themselves taken out by pretty much everyone. You can see the allies moving up into the houses now, taking up sniping positions, trying to get shots on whoever they can on the enemy team. Finds the T-34-3 here, but it looks like he's on the other side of... Oh no, nope, there he is. Uh, spots him out there. Got to be careful though because he uh, only has that limited firing arc at the front. Going to try and offer some support here to his IS-3. But again, the guy's just behind this building here. If he pushes out too much more, may be able to get a shot on him. Finds this Leopard 1 here. Sorry, Centurion 1. My eyes do deceive. Going to think about taking a shot, but the problem is that'll probably reveal his position. And uh, he doesn't really have any cover. Decides in the end to take a shot on the Centurion. Centurion opting not to return fire there and actually gets himself taken out by the FCM there. And then that just leaves this T-34-3. Who then goes and suicides on the other side of the island. So that went pretty well for the Allied team. Bureaucracy just going to po poke himself over this hill here. Try and see who he can spot out. Does in fact see the IS across the way there. But the Tiger 1 that was in the centre earlier seems to have disappeared. Sorry, the Tiger 2, not the Tiger 1. This IS is just going full YOLO across the field here. If somebody's able to take out his tracks, he's going to be an absolute sitting duck there before he can get into cover. And making the biggest mistake here of taking a hit halfway across an open field and then stopping and trying to reverse back. That's not going to achieve anything apart from send you back to your garage early. You should at least continue to drive and get into the cover in front of you as the... There isn't any cover behind you because you're in the middle of a big empty field. He's done a good job of surviving so far. But uh, allies get eyes on him again. And uh, it shouldn't be long until someone's just able to take him out. Gets an excellent shot through the turret there. And that Tiger 2 reappears. Excuse me. Tiger 2 reappears in the centre. They find an AT-15 as well. And uh, Bureaucracy going to come across and try and get a shot on this IS who's uh, focusing his cannon on the ELC. The good thing is, the ELC is so slim, so small, that uh, it can get its gun on target. But it doesn't have very much turret above its gun. So, unlike these other tanks that have large commander's hatches, when their guns are over the top of a ridge, then uh, they've generally exposed quite a lot of their tank. Tiger 2 has his shot. Not sure who he was firing at, as Bureaucracy was well out of his uh, line of sight there uh, when he took that shot. Looks like he might have him auto-aimed here because he's tracking his gun on him everywhere he goes. Just going to try and fall back here to try and get out of proxy spot range. Hopefully so that his uh, camo can kick back in, but no, decides just to check out 
which of his allies have turned up. He's got a comet. Well, did have a comet on the right hand side. He's decided to drop back now. And now these two guys are focusing on the Pershing that's come around. He's going to play around the houses with the AT-15. Gets a good shot into the rear of him. The uh, Tiger 2 looks like he's put out the fire that he was on. And Bureaucracy just going to fall back while his cannon reloads. Tiger 2 does have his shot. So he's got all the time in the world now just to take this shot onto his side armor and takes him out. And that's kill number one. But this AT-15 has still been a bit of an immovable object. Uh, dueling with all these guys. Nobody really able to put any shots through his front armor. But Bureaucracy's got a perfect shot on his rear armor there. And because his tracks are taken out, there's just nothing this AT-15 can do. Uh, it, it does repair his track in time now, and uh, Bureaucracy was just trying to ram him in the tracks there to take them out again, but instead, just takes a big shot in the face. Got to be careful here, because this AT-15 could prove his downfall, but the uh, saving grace is he's got guys to the front of him. Ooh, takes a shot on the side there from that... Uh, who was that? Should really have the... Um there we go. So it takes a shot in the side from that Type 58 and gets another good hit on the AT-15 here. So really he's just coming in and uh, just running circles around this AT-15. Going to have to switch his attention to this Type 58 now because he's taking consistent shots from that guy. So just spins himself around, takes him out and then turns back around and puts his focus back on this AT-15. Because the AT-15 has got to keep his front armor facing forwards because they've got that IS-2 and the Comet still in range. So that just leaves bureaucracy to come round and fire shots on the rear armor whenever he likes probably should have poked himself in well i suppose if he poked himself in right behind the tank there then uh he could have just carried on reversing and pushed the elc no problem whatsoever as the at 15 has got a hell of a lot more horsepower than the elc does going to focus in on the weak spot there gets another great shot through the back of the at 15 here and there's really nothing he can do here caught between a rock and a hard place he's going to try and make a run for it but like i said he's got to keep his front armor focused in that direction oh misses that shot which is very unfortunate going to try and sneak back around the at 15 who's now presented all of his rear armor towards the allies but nobody really capitalizing on this just yet so bureaucracy going to take one more shot and he's able to take him out and pick up kill number three so absolutely excellent piece of light tank play there from bureaucracy just running circles around your heavier slower more cumbersome opponents and also being aware of your surroundings at the same time so that's gg and the game so absolutely brilliant replay there from Bureaucracy showing his skills in his ELC AMX, scoring a total of three kills and just over 2,000 points of damage. So thanks very much for sending that one in, and as always, stick around because the score screens and another game are coming right up. Our second replay of the days from the user Slushy Spy 33. That Slushy Spy 33, and he's obviously driving the ELC AMX on a standard battle on the Pearl River. Excuse me. So straight away, Slushy Spy going to be heading all the way down to the southern flank, which is a good place for the light tanks to get to. You can get some early spots on the enemy. Just waiting for some of his allies to catch up here. Uh, this one is a little slow to get started, so we're going to speed this one up until we actually get into some action. Finds the enemy's ELC, who's decided to make some kind of weird suicide run across the centre here. Slushy Spy going to attempt to get a shot on him, but he's been a little bit wily, but able to land a shot in the end there and take him out at a, a nice range there. That was a, a good shot that he landed, just going to drop back to make sure that he hasn't been spotted by anybody. Some of his allies have caught up now. He's got a few tank destroyers and that Type 3485. So uh, I think a lot of them are just going to try and advance together. Going to take cover behind the rocks here and just wait for the enemy to appear. The customary heavy tank and tank destroyer battle is occurring in the north. 
But it looks like they've committed enough forces to the south here. I'm not really sure what those heavy tanks are doing in the centre. Uh, probably warding off that T-29 there. Just having a drive around trying to spot anybody who comes out right now. Does find the T-34-85. Just going to sit here and try and lure the enemy into making a mistake. I did say that this replay is a little bit slow to get started, but once it gets started, it is fantastic. So there we go. Here is the enemy force finally met in the centre here. Spots out the Hellcat T-3485 and the Panzer Souffle. The 3485 gets himself taken out. The Hellcat's not poking himself out enough. Takes out his opposition there, the other Hellcat. Uh, Slushy going to head behind these rocks here. Try and get himself into a good position where he can fire down onto the Hellcat. Switching to HE rounds here. Because uh, he knows the Hellcat only has 13 armour around. I think it's about 13 armour, so easily enough for Slushy Spy to be able to penetrate here. Wants to try and take him out in a single shot, but he's only got one HE round, so he has to try and make this count. Taking his time aiming, and indeed he does, takes him out, and that is kill number two. So an excellent piece of situational play there. Switching to his HE round to take out the Hellcat, knowing that he's very, very badly armoured. I mean, what's the penetration of that? Uh... Oh, we're not allowed to look. <laughs> and I'm sure it'll be higher than the, yeah, penetration of 45. So that wouldn't have really worked on anybody else, but it was a nice one on the Hellcat there. So that just leaves this Panzer Souffle, Mark 4C. I'll try and flank around the sides of him. Although the ELC does play a lot like a tank destroyer itself, so still got to be careful. But uh, takes him by surprise. He wasn't really expecting it, and he's able to take him out. And that is kill number three now. So doing a good job in the south here. Unfortunately, the team not doing a fantastic job in the north. You can see that they're pretty much getting overran there. The, uh, the only tank that is up there is that ARL-44. But they've lost contact with him, so no idea where he is at the moment. Slushy going to be heading down to the lower ground. Advancing further along that road where they just won that battle can be a little bit of a suicide because you've normally got, well, as you see there, they've got that SU-100 uh, just camped along the road. So, got to play that carefully. Finds a Panzer IV here. Doesn't quite get a shot through the front armour. The uh, armour of the Panzer IV can be a little troll. If you are not careful, just going to be aiming centre mass here. Takes a second shot, but unfortunately it doesn't look like that one connected. As I think he probably had the alpha damage to be able to take him out in a single shot, but that not really happening. So now looks like that ARL-44 in the north has been taken out. And the guys in the centre, I think, have taken each other out. So it's really just this push from the south that all the hopes and dreams rest on. A little bit risky there to come down these uh, vertical things, uh, just because the ELC is such a small tank, it can quite easily get stuck in a position like that. Looks like the enemies finally come around the corner and started off a base capture, the 3485 and Slushy himself going to be heading back to do something about this. So it's probably going to be either the Tiger P or the T-150. Probably hoping and dreaming that it's going to be the T-150 because this Tiger P can be a difficult beast to penetrate. Slushy not taking any chances and switching across to his premium rounds there because in a situation like this, this is the time when you really need to penetrate. Just has a quick look and there's nobody in the cap circle. Unless he's all the way around this corner. Nope, he's not. Some of the cap circle is almost certainly uh, down the other side of the terrain there. Slushy was trying to get some eyes on the target just so that some of his allies can maybe shoot at them and uh, give artillery something to do. So not really well. It looks like that T-150 is going to run smack headlong into the T-3485. That's not really a duel that I'd like to take in the T-3485. Does finally spot out the Tiger P. So hopefully the artillery can come in and do something about that. Does have to be careful himself though as I've uh, got that Lorraine 15550 on the enemy team. And that can be a deadly piece of artillery. I'm going to try and flank around the side of this Tiger P while the uh, his attention is fixed on that ARL there. And he's just going to have to head around and carousel around him here. Got to play it carefully though, as even though it's a light tank and it's well capable of running circles around enemy 
larger tanks here, the problem it does have is it can't put its gun on target very successfully. The other problem with it is it's such a small, sh uh, short tank that even if you do manage to get your gun on target, getting it on target when it's in so close to you can be a problem. And Slushy Spy just absolutely schooling this Tiger P in how to play World of Tanks. Does take one shot from him, but I don't think that's going to be enough, and he... Takes him out in the end, although he's only left with 29 hit points thanks to all of that side rubbing there. But he is able to take out the uh, the Tiger P in the end. And that just leaves the score at 12 to 12. And that was the better of the two Tiger Ps there. He picked himself up four kills in total. So it was a very, very nice play by Slushy Spy 33 there in his ELC. Just run rings around that Tiger P. So that leaves artillery, a Panzer IV, and another Tiger P. Which has now been found out. So Slushy going to run away a little bit. Try and get into some cover. As uh, the T-3485 took a shot. But luckily I think it only took his tracks away. And uh, they're both going to make a run for it here. Going to run all the way around the top of the map here. Slushy may be going to go and... While the Tiger P is kind of camping in the buildings there, he's going to run around and try and take out the Panzer IV and the artillery. Not really sure what the... Oh, well, I was just about to say, not really sure what the Allied artillery is doing, but he's obviously doing something, right, because he's got three kills. And it's going to be a difficult ask for that T-3485 to keep that uh, Tiger P spotted and stay alive because it looks like slushy spy is going to be coming all the way around the map here to try and get in behind this tiger p just going to speed this up until we get back into the action unfortunately unfortunately for him if he just sat in the same place he would have been much better off because now that tiger p has spun all the way around uh, 180 degrees and he's now pointing in the direction that uh slushy spy would be coming from so if he just kind of gone around that corner and hid just around that bridge as the tiger p came around the corner and then faced back in this direction to fire on the t-3045 slushy spy would have been able to pop out and then shoot him in the rear so a little bit of a mistake there taking a little bit too long to circle all the way around should have known that the tiger p would have been able to take out the 3045 by that point I'm going to try and get some eyes on him and hopefully the artillery can lend a hand here. And it looks like the Tiger P is hiding in exactly the same place that his counterpart was. He's going to take cover and get straight out of the cap circle. Doesn't want any of that. Got to be careful though because not really sure where this Panzer IV is. This Panzer IV could be sneaking up behind him at any point. He's got to play this one carefully. He has gone back into the cap circle. And the artillery is reloading, so we're just going to speed this one up again until we get back into the action. Like I said, it's a bit of a slow, methodical game, but it's still very, very entertaining and very well played. Looks like the enemy Lorraine 155 is trying to sneak up on the Allied artillery. And the Allied artillery was reloading last time we were left with him. And that means that Slushy's going to be on his own here. As he's going to have to try and deal with the Lorraine. Sneaks around the other side of this rock here to try and find the Tiger P. Does find him. Tiger P's got his gun pointing in the right direction. But he's not quite quick enough on the mouse. And Slushy's able to take him out. And that is kill number five. So just going to head off and leave the SU-14-1 to his own devices to try and defend against this Lorraine. Looks like he's probably not loaded just yet. And uh, the two of them just going to duel with each other. Looks like the Lorraine 155 is able to get the best of that situation. And then that leaves Slushy Spy all by himself against two enemies here. Not really sure where this Panzer IV is. To be honest, he may be AFK. As I don't think... Oh, no, actually, I think that's the Panzer IV that he fired at early on, earlier on in the game. And uh, judging by his results with that tank, my guess would be that he took those shots earlier on and then just fell all the way back, probably to around about H or G0. Probably just camping as far back as possible from the... Uh, from the inter oh, there he is! Hidden behind a building overlooking the cap circle, not really achieving anything there. If...
say the two Tiger P's and the uh, and the Panzer IV had all gone to cap together, then this game would have been over a long ago, and that would have been a victory for the uh, for the enemy team. So deciding not to go for the cap here, only got 29 hit points, but obviously got brass balls because he's going to go and try and take out the Lorraine 15550 rather than just going for the base capture. If it started a base capture just there, actually, by the time he got on that cap circle, that possibly would have been a draw. So just going to try and head in towards his own base because he knows exactly where the Lorraine is. And to be honest, this is the only, the only choice that the Lorraine could have made. There's absolutely no way an artillery piece is going to go hunting for an ELC. And uh, apparently he's got almost 300 hit points. So he's not going to be able to take him out in a single shot, especially with a low roll like that. And he's going to have to play this one carefully. And the Lorraine just over-aiming that one. Uh, and that's one of the little tricks you can do. Just wait for them to aim in front of you to try and lead you as a target. And then uh, stop and then they continue to over-aim. Lorraine finally takes his shot, but was moving himself so much that there was no way he was able to aim his gun enough. And this should be an easy case of just pick him up, and that is kill number seven. And an absolutely amazing game there from Slushy Spy 33. Seven kills, two and a bit thousand points of damage, and pretty much winning that one for his team. So absolutely awesome replay from you. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Don't forget, if you've got yourselves a good replay, then please send that to replay at screenreality.com. A link for that is in the description. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a like, favourite, or comment, and let me know exactly what you thought. And if you're not already, then please consider hitting that subscribe button for more content like this in the future. I have been Maxwell, this has been World of Tanks, and I will catch you guys next time.